Uh, hi there YouTube, uh, I just, just wanted to add a few improvements I've made to the circuit. Um, I, I don't, I'm not assuming that I made improvements to the original circuit at all, just to the one that I built. Um, I wanted, to, what, what I didn't have was that both, or well now we've got four transistors, but I wanted that, that, that they were sharing the power equally. When there was about a volt difference between the two at one stage and also that the frequency was at 50 hertz not 47 or 53 50 but for this country um, a couple of the resistors i didn't have so i've had to make those up to get the values that i've got let me just move that out of the way what did i do i wrote them down yeah okay i wrote one down that's um no, no, that's right, that's 2.7 uh, K there. I know I could put a 2. Point, I think I've got 2.6s. I'm not sure, anyway. And that's a 2.4 made up. Oh, I'm not even showing you. And this one's a 2.4. In total, for the frequency, I ended up with 39, 33, and a 27 nanofarad. Hmm. I'd like to just check that. Sit there for a second. So that works out, well, about 80, 80, 83, something like that, nanofarads. Um, and that gives me uh, just what, 50 hertz? No, really, I should have had that in, but I uh, just had it on. Mm. Okay, we've got a slight issue there. Not quite sure what's going on, I think I've put something somewhere, not to wire off somewhere. Maybe that's not playing the game. Let me just have a little look. Maybe that's not in correctly. Seems to be correct. Okay. So I uh I'll pick this up. So there's our frequency and that's the voltage under load. So there's the voltage peak to peaks. Got the frequency down there of um, one lot at the top there. There's the hardware counter there as well. 50 hertz, 0.1, 50.1 hertz. And so I got the voltages, you know, pretty close. It's quite good. Uh, it's just under 220 volts without the load. It's 219. It sort of flickers 18. 18 and 19 um, without the load. But the nice thing about this is before when I was running it for a minute or so with the um, 840s it was getting hot and also better performance most definitely with the IRF 3250s, no 3205s. Problem is I've only got a couple of these and if once you leave it on for a while these do start getting hot. Uh, yeah, okay, heat sink them up, but these, I can leave these running, the four, and they don't really get warm. I've not left them running for more than sort of three or four minutes, so maybe I should do that. I don't know if I want to bore you with that, but what I, was, what I did was I, um, a little while ago, I bought a, a bunch, 30, I think it's 30 for three pound. Um, they're all second hand as well. The majority of them are second hand. No, they're not. They're different. Um, but the majority of the second hand, like you can see that the leads have been cropped. Um, and they've been used, but they still work. <coughs> Which is great, and no, not even warm. And the bulb is over there, like just point of the way, blown away. <coughs> and it is pretty bright, because in here that's the only light that's on now 
and that's, uh, that is quite bright. I'm going to put the overhead lights on. Um, and looking at the information there again, still pretty stable. Everything's still pretty much remaining the same. Mins and maxes and averages. Uh, pretty good there. The frequency, yeah, when I was playing around with uh, different pastors, the, the minimum on the frequency there is 40, uh, 40.6 hertz, but if you look at the frequency now on the average, that's pretty much sticking to what it should be, which is quite good. That's quite good for me anyway. No, it's still not warm yet. Not even warm. Cold, I would say cold. Um, this is a glass top table, so it, it can be pretty cold and uh, they're pretty good. So, I say this works um, a lot better. There's the, the voltage still with the load on. Now, 12.5 volts, 0.7 amps, for so eight, eight and a half watts. I can't do that maths easy in my head. Oh, I've got a calculator here now. We can do it on a count. <laughs> so, so look. Uh, what have we got? 12.5 uh, times 0.7. 8.75 watts. Yeah, that's just doing a little feel. Yeah, absolutely nothing. There's nothing. It, it feels like I'm just picking up one of these. Ah, uh, maybe it's got a slats. No, no, once I've felt that for a few seconds, it's the same sort of temperature. Um, that transformer there. Now that was making a noise before when it didn't have enough load on it. So I'm wondering if it needs actually, if it would be happier pulling more power. And what I noticed as well when I was playing with them yesterday was because I was trying to simulate the battery and the lower it was going rapidly about there would be on like nearly an amp. And I can see there, look, we're getting close to that, but we are at 9 volts. We've gone down to 100 uh, volts there. The frequency stayed the same. There's a bit more difference now on the, the, the power going to them. But as I turn it back up to 12.5 volts, which is where, you, where your batteries, you know, don't really want to run down very far from. If we go back up to that, that's good. And if we were starting off with a fresh battery, let's say 12.89, um, we're still pretty good there. And you'll have probably about 100, 230 maybe volts open circuit and 196 there. Well. It's still going, so let's have a little look and feel what that's like. Yeah, nothing. Just nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. They're a good buy for this. Because I don't know how long that's been now. We've got 9 minutes 35 on the camera. I think I started it probably about 4 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago. Uh, there's a little bit I'll skip through. Just while I can figure out the capacitance. Uh, so, 13.6. Pretty much on both. There is a slight difference on the maximum there, 15 and 14.6. Frequency is still staying pretty good though. On both sides of the um, inverted and non-inverted. And just nothing, there's just no temperature change at all. It's just cold, it's one of these. No temperature change. So, I think the IRF 630 then. I'm showing you that it's, it says it on there, but uh, that's pretty good. So I'm quite chuffed with that. I'm going to look at building a a hatred. Did that flash? Or is it just me? Uh, nothing seems to have changed anywhere. Uh, well, it seems to be the same. That's not the same. So I put, but we wouldn't probably be running at that. It wants to be around about 12.5, 12.6. 
Yeah, nothing. No change, still cold. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, I think that's uh, not a bad, not a bad transistor to use. And using four, of course, is sharing the load a bit more. Well, I presume that's why the, the heat is just non-existent on it, which would probably indicate that I could put more of a load on there. Um, We'll see what else we can get. I wonder if I can get this to power up a fluorescent tube. Interesting, or one of these uh, these compact lights. Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd show that because that seems quite good. Just being able to leave it running and then not get warm because that's still not warm at all. No. Nothing certain at this, just running a, you know, a few watts. It doesn't even really need heat sinking. But I'm sure it'll need heat sinking. I don't know about these plastic cases, does that mean I don't need to put insulators on them? And I can just bang it on a heat sink anyway. I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up, because I don't know. I've never used these before with a plastic case like this. But I've got a bag of a bunch of them. They're just going second hand, you know, on eBay. And I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll grab those. Because I wanted to play with MOSFETs. Um, This is before I even touched the MOSFET really, I was just playing with the BJT, the TIP35. I quite like MOSFETs. Okay, I've got a... Well, it's not heat or anything to be worried about. Not even my temperature, because it still feels a little bit cold. But it feels a little tiny bit warmer than what it was before. <laughs> but not enough to um, warrant thinking about, or thinking that this needs to be turned off or anything. I should probably do a temperature check on the uh, power supply. I'm just going to pull on the. Uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing. So I could just leave that in, couldn't I? I could just leave it running and. Then maybe connect it to my battery. But I did notice with the. Uh, I think it was the IRF 840s, as you were going down even just slightly, in the voltage. The ampage was rising considerably, uh, which I don't think is such a good effect. I'm not sure if that's what's wanted, especially as a, if it was on a battery, it's going to continue to deplete, and then if it's taking more ampage, it's going to deplete even quicker. Uh, you, that's, I don't know. I don't think that's a very good move. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Um, that that is a uh, better version of the one I did yesterday. Okay, so I decided to add another bulb as well. I tried to get this... Oh! Uh, I tried to get this to work, but it just glue a little bit dimly. I've, I've got better results from a single MOSFET. Um, a much simpler design of that. But it still wasn't really worth doing anything with because that design really isn't the way they go, it's just a very basic thing, the one MOSFET. Um, but there's, there's two bulbs, that's a 3 watt LED and that's a 6 watt LED. Um, there we go, so according to that we're drawing through the circuit anyway, uh, 12.5 watts. Same thing, I was just trying to see uh, if these things would get warm. But still, not really. It's not a bad little light though. If you're living on a boat or something. Everything there is pretty much the same. A little bit of a bend on the waveform then. But the voltages are remaining stable, the frequencies are remaining stable. Uh, it is slightly down, but I'm not sure whether that's worth me being concerned about. Yeah. 
I gotta I gotta tear all this down now. And gotta build one of these little DSO 138s for the friend. Anyway. I shall pop this in the video somewhere just so you can see the two bones. Anyway, you got this far. Cheers for watching. I will, um, I'm going to probably just leave this on for a, a while still because there's still no nothing on there. Just it's nothing. It's like they're not having to do any work at all, and everything there is pretty much stayed the same. Very small difference between the voltages, but yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye.